Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kira Phillips. We are coming on the air because ABC News has now confirmed Iran has just launched a retaliatory missile attack targeting Israel. A U.S. senior administration official telling ABC News now that Iran is expected to fire 240 to 250 missiles at four targets in Israel. This includes the Mossad headquarters, Israel's spy agency, three Israeli air bases, we are told it'll take about 15 minutes to actually reach their targets. The U.S. and Israeli military with their defenses at the ready at this moment, including Israel's Iron Dome. Israel has ordered residents now in Jerusalem to shelter in place. The White House had signaled a potential strike was imminent. The attack follows a rapid escalation of violence in the Middle East, something we've been covering for weeks now, including an Israeli airstrike killing Hezbollah's leader in Beirut. Iran launching a direct attack on Israel in April, but few of its missiles and rockets actually reached their intended targets. Many were shot down by the U.S. coalitions in the region. This comes as the Israeli military now says its troops were conducting limited ground raids in southern Lebanon. Let's get straight to our Ian panel in Beirut. Ian, what can you tell us at this moment? Yeah, hi there, Kira. I mean, this is clearly underway. There have been a lot of fears that this was coming, uh, especially after the assassination of Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah for almost three decades. The live pictures that we're now seeing, certainly over the skies in Tel Aviv, show a lot of lights in the air. Now, what's unclear is whether these are ballistic missiles. We believe Iran has fired over 100 okay. ballistic missiles. Uh, we certainly know that the Iron Dome and other air defenses are in operation, and this is happening right as we speak. A nationwide emergency alert to all Israelis to shelter. All our okay. colleagues, people with friends and family, uh, are all hiding now, basically in bunkers. Uh, many people in their homes, they have to kind of makeshift shelters, uh, and everyone is now underground. This came shortly after a terrorist attack uh, in Israel. Uh, we're told that this is possibly the first of four waves of attacks. Now, this is almost, if the 250 figure is right, that's almost double the size of the attack that took place in April. Remember, Iran attacking at that time. Uh, we suspected that there would be attack, but this is significantly larger. Israel has warned all of its citizens to take all precautions to try and stay underground if they can. Uh, we're certainly hearing the sounds of explosions from Tel Aviv uh, in that feed that is coming from some of the television cameras there. So clearly terrifying moments for people on the ground. And then eventually we'll start to talk about what the response is. Israel has been very clear that if Iran attacks Israel, it is going to respond, and the response is going to be very severe. So we just have to wait and see. 99% of the missiles that were fired at Israel back in April were intercepted. This is double the size. That's a huge test of Israel's resources. Remember, you've got American service personnel on the ground there, as well as American citizens. You've got the US embassy and obviously lots of other foreign nationals as well. So this will be a terrifying night for many people. You know, we're hearing the sounds of explosions. Again, it's hard at this point to know whether these are intercepts uh, or whether uh, some of these missiles are actually going through. So to stress, we know that this first wave of attacks is now underway. We're told there could be four. This first wave is over 100 ballistic missiles. There could be as many as 250 in total. Israel has warned that there will be a strong response to Iran. It's been planning this uh, uh, to, to how to retaliate for a long time, but especially that's been ramped up ever since Hassan Nasrallah was killed. People in this part of the world, here in Lebanon, have been waiting for an Iranian response. Many people have been crying out for it, especially in the Shia world. There's a lot of pressure on Iran to try and respond because its proxies here in Lebanon and elsewhere, uh, and certainly Hamas in Gaza, have been under immense pressure from Israel, trying to break this so-called axis of resistance. And this is the response from Iran. But, but a huge gamble by Iran and a very dangerous night for Israel.